Entrepreneur Silvani Bieka says the initiative is a first of its kind for Namibians dealing with the threat of cross-contamination between hands, clothes and face in public spaces. The centre forms part of post-lockdown strategies to ensure that the pandemic is completely eliminated. We need to look at how do we contain the virus if it's uh, affecting particular public spaces, public, uh, particular areas, or even first responders. The idea here is to look at uh, cross-contamination as one of the issues that will determine whether we succeed in containing this virus or not. Uh, it's completely hands-free. Uh, the materials that are used here are locally procured. Uh, it's also made within Katutura, in a local area. So the function here is public spaces. Abed Nakalenga, the co-founder of the project, says the application of the chamber is intended for public spaces, open markets and areas of the high risk of cross-contamination such as airports, border posts, public gatherings, visitors to prisons, first responders and frontliner professionals, among others. Given the fact that people are going to be free to, to move around, uh, after the lockdown has ended, you would want to ensure that they do not contaminate uh, one another uh, within their workspaces, within the shopping malls, within the now to be open um, uh, open markets. You would want to ensure that, especially in the densely populated areas, people are really um, disinfected and uh, the spread of COVID-19 is prevented at all costs. The hands-free chamber was built locally by Silvani and Nakalenga and design engineer Sydney Biakas. The plan is to get the government and the private sector on board to accelerate the process ahead of the lifting of the lockdown. Franklin Muningirwa, NBC News, Bantuk.